Now to some developing news on the next election. Sources close to former President Donald Trump tell CBS. Did they fucking all the good shit that I do care about? They're like, uh, you know, we'll come later. News. He intends to launch his 2024. How does it feel to be paywalled? Shut up, bitch. I'm the least paywalled content creator out there. Okay, suck my dick. For presidential campaign tonight from Mar-a-Lago. Now, he has been telling his allies he plans to move forward despite taking some heat within the GOP over disappointing results in the midterms. Chief Washington correspondent Major Garrett is near Mar-a-Lago Beach, or in Palm Beach, Florida. Excuse me, uh, Major, what's going on? Good morning, Nate. Good morning, everyone. Trump does not have to announce now. Even his closest advisors acknowledge that, and they know some Republicans are describing this preemptive move as a sign of weakness, not strength. Trump doesn't care. He's decided the best way to dominate the narrative and not incidentally possibly avoid indictment is to get back on center stage. I'm going to be making a very big announcement in the very next very, very, very short period of time. You're going to be so happy. This preview of coming attractions has been going on for months. It was supposed to be supercharged by a blockbuster Republican midterm. But for Republicans, the nope. midterms were a flop and reviews of former President Trump scathing. There's uh, significant influence from the former president. Um, and I think that influence uh, probably hurt the party and, and hurt the party's chances on election day. You know, Donald Trump. Yeah, he kept saying, you know, we're going to be winning so much, we'll get tired of winning. I'm tired of losing. I mean, that's all he's done. Trump must also confront pointed criticism from former Vice President Mike Pence, one of many potential 2024 GOP rivals. Do you believe that Donald Trump should ever be president again? David, I think that's up to the American people. Wow. But I think we'll have better choices in the future. Wow. Trump must also contend with a... Wow, some real fucking daggering words from former Vice President Mike Pence. New reality. Two rising GOP governors, Florida's Ron DeSantis and Virginia's Glenn Youngkin, courting donors with an eye toward denying him the nomination. Trump is expected to jump in now in a bid to shake off the bad midterms, reassert power in the party, and get a jump on DeSantis. Let's see, there it is, Trump at 71, Ron DeSanctimonious at 10%. Or any other challenger. It certainly could make candidates move faster if they're serious about looking at this race. Donald Trump scares a lot of people off, and he knows that. Ronda! Trump, the wounded retains key advantages, nearly 100 million. Sounds like a woman's name, folks. Ronda! Little Ronda! Believe me, folks, little Rhonda wants to run against me. I know a lot about you, Rhonda. Maybe more than your wife. Believe me, only your wife knows as much as you, as much as I do, Rhonda. Little Rhonda. Dollars in campaign funds, a devoted base of at least 30% in any 2024 primary contest, a full digital operation with more than 50 million voter contacts, and support at state and local party levels. He comes into this not just as uh, the biggest name in the party, but with the biggest bank account. Uh, and that's cer certainly something he'll use to his advantage. Trump also faces a number of legal challenges, including allegations of mishandling classified documents, an ongoing New York Attorney General's investigation into his business practices, a Fulton County, Georgia investigation into an electoral vote scheme. There's also the subpoena from the January. Chatter asks, is Mike DeSantis, is, is Mike DeSantis, is Mike Pence a good vice president? No, because he did not fucking stop the count when he could have on January 6th, and he didn't do that. So, no, he's bad. We don't like him. January 6th committee. Trump defied that subpoena on Monday and is now suing the panel to avoid testifying. Gail, the panel says it is evaluating its next steps. A lot of people evaluating. We'll see what happens tonight. Thank you, Major. So I do want just to play this because it's it, which is incredible, which one of the big winners, by the way, uh, of last Tuesday night uh, is Ron DeSantis, who had uh, uh, just an incredible, yeah. uh, impressive showing, uh, in, not just with the reelection of like, I think, 19 points, yeah. um, uh, even though the first time he ran, he won by 0.4 points. Mm -hmm. But he also like won Latino voters by, nine, Mi by 19 Dade points. And, yeah. He won Miami-Dade County. He won yep. Palm Beach County. Yep. So really good night for him. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of talk about him running for president. I want you to take a listen to President Trump's daughter-in-law. 
Ooh. Ooh, they got my favorite character on this panel. I was wondering where he's been. Oh, Krista Slizzard Lizard Gizzard, dude. Holy shit. Chris is on here looking for toes, probably. Oh, my God. Let's see what he has uh, to say. Warning, Ron DeSantis, not to run. Take a listen. <laughs> Mr. Feet Man. I can tell you those primaries get very messy and very raw. We've experienced that before. Um, so wouldn't it be nicer for him, and I think he knows this, to wait until 2028? <laughs> well, uh, wouldn't it be nicer for him? That, that was about as, 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 as nice a delivery of a thuggish line <laughs> that you could. I mean, like, it's almost literally what a thug would say. That, that line is essentially like, I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you if yeah. you decided to run for something. I mean, I'm not saying anything bad will happen. But it is rooted in reality. Even down in Florida, Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, they know what it's like to go up against Donald yeah. Trump and be attacked in really yeah. personal ways. Yeah. And Ron DeSantis hasn't had to campaign in that way. That being said, I don't think that's going to scare him off. I think Ron DeSantis right now is every day prepping for the Trump onslaught. But it's real that it's going to be a different type of race than anybody can really prepare for if and, they choose. And that's the second time a member of the Trump family has, has threatened Trump uh, not to, uh, threatened yeah. DeSantis not to run. Donald Trump did so in an interview with the Wall Street Journal. He, he said, sure oh, did real direct. Yeah. Look, I think we're going to sit back and see how the Trump announcement tomorrow lands, right? I mean, are they all going to be brave and jump in and have a food fight for us to watch or, or not? So good to have everybody here. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, my God. George Conway reacts to Trump's new argument in the Mar-a-Lago. Former Pace. Former President Trump is making new claims right now about the classified documents he took from the White House with him to his Florida home, saying they are his personal property. CNS Sarah Murray is working the story for us. Uh, uh, Sarah, so why does Trump think that these documents, these are classified, highly classified documents, and there are hundreds of them, why does the former president think they're his personal property? Well, right, so this is an argument that they are making over the remaining documents, not the classified one. Prosecutors are looking over these, but these remaining documents that are in dispute that the special master is looking at. And Trump's team is saying, you know, so he, Trump is... Sorry. I was waiting. Bro, how about liking women? Liking exclusively women is a bit cringing off. Like, it's giving homophobia. You know what I mean? What's up? You just want to fuck women? Like, no men in that equation? Like, bro, I love the internet because people say the dumbest shit, okay? People will say the dumbest fucking shit. And there is enough fucking idiots in the chat that will go, eh. That's kind of right. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what, no matter what you fucking say, no matter what you say, there's going to be someone that tries to normalize that take and say, honestly, that's pretty true. Hold on. Someone goes, nah, you're right. It's fetishized. Just cringe, not off. Bro, we abuse academic terminology so regularly in our everyday existence, and there is no better example of this than what that chatter just said. Okay? That's it. For his show, so shiny. We use academic language in our everyday fucking conversations, and we just have completely abused it. But is it not a little uncomfy pedophilia-wise about only liking tiny women? What is this? First of all, you're using vague terminology. And then you're, you're supplementing it with, like, very clear boundaries. Okay? You're insane. That is an insane fucking take. That's crazy, bro. What does height have to do with anything? 
Relatively speaking, aren't all women tiny women when it comes to you? Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Every woman, most women on the planet, like the majority of women on the planet, the overwhelming majority of women on the planet is just is tiny compared to me. Okay, I'm 6'4". There are some, not a lot. What do you want me to do? Only date with a WNBA? Is that what, is that what I should be doing? What the fuck? Just a little off, you know? Just a little off. It's kind of sus. Why aren't you dating within the WNBA? Also, what about the tiny women in the chat? What about all my ladies, okay, in the chat right now that are like fucking 5'2 and under? How do they feel being infantilized? You know? How did they how do they feel, I wonder, that chatter is like, you know, automatically you're just like a child. You're in the child category. It's such a weird fucking take, dude. Like, it's not hard. Date your height and your age or you're problematic. <laughs> uh God damn, dude. Shit is crazy out here. People, it's, it's, I love that. I, I'm fascinated with stuff like that though, because like, I do feel as though it is so overcorrective and, and, uh, you know, trying to be woke that, uh, it misses the mark. It misses the mark and it just becomes like this complete unhinged rambling of a mad person. Lamel, date your sign too sweaty. You're a Pisces and Mercury rising, and that's problematic. Anyway. saying essentially I was president and presidents get to decide what are personal records, what are presidential records. When I was president, I decided these are my personal records. I took them with me to Mar-a-Lago. That should be allowed. The Justice Department is saying this is not how that works. These don't become your personal records just because you say they are. That defeats the entire purpose of the law. You know, they also pointed out that Trump is trying to argue these are personal records, but also that they could be covered by executive privilege. And prosecutors are saying this is just gamesmanship trying to delay what's uh, apparently going to happen. Uh, we're also learning right now the outcome of a very separate investigation into Rudy Giuliani's dealings in Ukraine. What's going on? That's right. Remember back to 2021, Rudy Giuliani's home was searched, his office was searched. You know, so what we learned today from federal yeah, investigators, yeah. they informed a judge that their foreign lobbying probe was going to close without any charges. So Rudy Giuliani not going to face any foreign lobbying charges as part of that probe. His attorney says that is wonderful news. Of course, Giuliani still has some other legal exposure, you know, in Georgia, where there's a criminal investigation ongoing into efforts into metal in the 2020 election. Giuliani has been told he's a target in that investigation. Yes, he has been. All right, Sarah, thank you very much. Sarah Murray reporting for us. Let's get some more on what's going on. The conservative lawyer, George Conway, is joining us, and CNN legal analyst, Norm Eisen, is joining us as well. George, uh, in the Mar-a-Lago investigation, what do you make of this Trump legal argument that we just heard about? It, it's not a legal argument. It's, it's a ridiculous argument. The notion that these, that personal records are, that he can just define what a personal record is, it's just, is fallacious. It's, it's based on a misreading of the case law. It's contrary to the statute. The statute specifically defines presidential records to be records that were prepared for or given to the president in the course of his duties. And if that's true, then they're presidential. Oh my God, this motherfucker has the me hair, bro. What's happening? Yo, I respect that, dude. Homie, homie has the COVID cut. He just kept it going. You know what I mean? That's fire.
financial records. And he can't simply say, oh, by stealing them, I, I, I'm making them personal records. And even if they were personal records, they'd still potentially be subject to subpoena. They, there's no reason the Justice Department couldn't have personal records. In fact, President uh, Trump lost a case in the Supreme Court where the New York Atter uh, District Wait. Attorney subpoenaed. Is that George Conway? Kellyanne Conway's husband? Wow. Yo, he looks fucking sick. Essential Good on him. Records of, of President Trump. So it doesn't really make any difference. And the notion that a document could be both executive privilege and personal at the same time is completely nonsensical. If it's executive privilege, it's because it was given to him in the course of his duties to assist or advise him, and that's not personal under the statute. Yeah, good point. You know, Norma, Trump's lawyers write this, and I'm quoting right now, it is the president's designation, not the appearance or content of a given document that is determinative. What's your reaction to that? Uh, well, Wolf, as you know, I was responsible for these issues uh, in the office of the White House counsel in the Obama. Fuck, Mary kill. Stop. Stop. I can't answer that question. But I would marry and fuck Wolf Blitzer. Obama administration, and it, it's just false. I mean, again and again, we hear the same theme from the former president that uh, he is above the law that governs all other Americans. We have a Presidential Records Act. There are not only that statute, there are regulations, there's executive orders that are in place. And Wolf, it reminds me of his argument that he can declassify documents just by thinking it. It doesn't work that way. There's a process. That's what you have in a rule of law system. So I think the courts are going to give short shrift. <laughs> Problematic age gap. Yeah. To uh, these positions. Also, George, uh, today is the day that the January 6th Select Committee had hoped to get testimony from the former president. Was that wishful thinking, especially now that he's actually going forward and suing the Select Committee? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it wishful thinking. I think it was an important thing for the committee to do to show that Trump is unwilling to defend his conduct and explain his conduct under oath. And he never was going to do that. I mean, he, his, his criminal exposure is so great. I mean, he pled the, he pled the Fifth Amendment 440 times in the state uh, investigation uh, in New York. Um, that's what he should have done here if he were, if he were to show up to testify. I think instead of doing that and, and subjecting him to that embarrassment, I think his, his lawyers have just decided to try to run up. Okay, this shit's so boring, I can't get over I just All right, give me some juice, dude. USA! 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 This is very disrespectful in the Arab states. Ron, Ron, Ron has got two no, big cruise bridges. He's out. He has plenty of time to gain Trump wisdom. Trump or death. Let, yeah. let him stay in Florida for a while. Remember when they did the, the Saddam Hussein that's, that's statue right, that's came right, down? That's right, yes. Remember when the Saddam statue came down? Hey. He's like, we, my father used to say to me, he used to say, hold on. He used to say, son, I brought you into this world. I can look how much fun they're having, dude. It, it's just... It, Look at the fucking hogs, man. They're oinking, dude. Take you out. Everything. Boom. Everything. This We're taking him out. Everything he's got here is to Trump. It's Trump or death. But I want to give a message. Yeah, I want to send a message. You think Nancy Pelosi might watch this? Well, Nancy, your reign of terror is almost over. And I hope you realize. You think Nancy Pelosi might watch this? Yeah. He's like so excited. He wants the Nancy notice, dude. There's no ice cream in hell. And your husband's a cruiser. He cruises. Wait, what? There's no ice cream in hell? Like, is he going to kill Nancy Pelosi? Wait, hold on. What? What the fuck does that even mean, dude? What is he saying? And then he said, your husband's a cruiser. He's gay. And your husband's a cruiser. He cruises for rough trade on Castro this Street. This is Ed, the Santa Claus. He cruises for rough trade on Castro Street. Uh, street. So for those of you who don't for those of you who were born after 9-11, which is like 90% of this fucking chat, what he's saying is your husband's a homosexual who goes to the uh, famous gay district, okay? The gay bars are in San Francisco. Um, rough trade and cruising are, uh, you know, there's such old terminology that I feel like it predates like the HIV uh, 
uh, uh, epidemic. Like that's like he, this man is just dropping bombs from a time when, you know, the good old days when you could just say the F word. <laughs> How, why does he know so much gay innuendo for a head? Uh, because, uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I guess like, I guess it's just like, you know, he just wants to be super homophobic. Kind of like how Matt Walsh knows everything that's happening in the trans universe before trans people know about it. You know what I mean? Put him on a short leash. The ice cream one I know is because Nancy Pelosi has like expensive ice cream in her like super expensive fridge or some shit. 1980s American crime thriller for, uh, film about a serial killer targeting gay men, particularly those uh, men associated with a leather scene in the late 1970s. The title's a double entendre because cruising can describe both police officers on patrol and men who are cruising for sex. Walmart started doing police sketches. Yo, that's creepy, man. Watch out. Yo, if that Germa guy was real, this shit would be extra scary. Like the top of the hour ad break when you don't have a subscription to the Hasanabi broadcast. You know what I mean? Like the top of the hour comes and you're like, the fuck, man, I don't know what to do. I want an uninterrupted broadcast experience. And I'm like, don't worry. As long as you subscribe for $5 or for free, with a Twitch Prime, that is, or by getting gifted a sub, you can just avoid the ads. You can have an ad-free broadcasting experience. You know what I'm saying? This is very important. Reasons why I think Asan should wear the stash more often. A, it makes his dimples pop. It makes his jawline look more snatched. He even said so himself. It's his best facial hair look. He looks extra sexy with it. Reason number five, because additional reasons. Photo proof. Like, come on. This is the stash throughout the years. Are you cruising for an ad-free viewership experience? Then please subscribe. Here's the one-minute break now. So, hey, Bozo, thank you for the five. Get the subs. Contributing to the hype train and allowing five people to no longer see the fucking ads. Can you talk about the Russian missiles hitting Poland? No. I can't. It's been th four hours since the broadcast started, which means that there's probably already clips, uh, industrial complex channels that have uh, probably uploaded this shit to YouTube. Like, I've already talked about it, and they're, they're probably uploaded to YouTube already. New Amon animation on Trump's return, by the way. Let's take a look at what his, what he, what his crazy mind came up with this time. Every single day, through our digital media, through our field program, through our events, is we are dedicating ourselves and our staff and our students and our activists for a full revival of America. You see, this is something they've tricked us into believing. Where is my president? I don't know, son. Let's make sure we get some facts correct here. They are the invading force. Donald Trump is here tonight. Now I know that he's taken some flack lately. But no one is happy, no one is prouder to put this birth certificate matter to rest than the Donald. And that's because he can finally get back to focusing on the issues that matter. Like, did we fake the moon landing? What really happened in Roswell? And where are Biggie and Tupac?
This is the origin story. It is the authentic origin story too. It's been a while, my son. God, he's wow. so good. Wow! I talked to a student recently at one of our woke college campuses who said she is required in every class to introduce herself and to give her pronouns. Well, I'm Ted Cruz, and my pronoun is kiss my ass. Wow! 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 So you've chosen to sacrifice your following. I'm afraid that's not nearly enough for Godhood. To reach your full potential, you will have to remember everything about your past. Sound editing is a little crazy on this. The church is supposed to direct the government. The government is not supposed to direct the church. That is not how our founding fathers intended it. And I'm tired of this separation of church and state junk. It's not in the constitution. It was in a stinking letter and it means nothing like what they say it does. As we speak, the apostles are commencing the ceremony. We only have a little longer before you're reborn. I wish to warn you of a rising catastrophe and remind you of who you really are. If you can recall, this is not the first time you've been reborn. The last time it took 13 months. You know your fate, your true purpose. Our America is a pro-life nation, proudly. Oh, have you watched? These pro-abortion, pro-murder rallies? The people are just disgusting. Like, why is it that the women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant are the ones most worried about having abortions? Nobody wants to impregnate you if you look like a thumb. Take my heat, son. You are the destined child of dark, bringer of the end of time. But your fate is not immutable. Challenges await you, threats, rivals, and traitors in your path. You must overcome all of them, or you will fail me. To obtain power in this form, you must consume. You must be willing to consume those closest to you. To become more than man, more than president it's fred trump this is his dad he did a pretty good job with his likeness too who i thought it was memes i don't know if it was real or not but there was some i mean i know that they were investigated by the federal government for uh for for not allowing black people housing in their properties but uh he might have had clan ties as well see here a threat from the inside Oh Ron no. DeSantis. He seeks to usurp your fate. He is powerful. You must become more. Look deep into your past. Even deeper. 
Remember what I told you, son. Remember our ancient purpose. Now it is time. You will be reborn in your new form. You must leave the Randa! feast of the apostles to complete this transaction. Consume Donald and obtain unlimited power. He's gonna eat Donald. Do not fail me again, Donald. Motherfuckers are like, this is fake. This is a documentary, dude. What are you talking about? This is real life. It happened in real life. This is a real photo. Well, thank you very much. And I'm thrilled to be back with a young, proud, and energetic patriots of Turning Point. We will stand up to the radical left lunatics, and we will fight for America like no one has ever fought before. There is no mountain we cannot climb. There is no summit we cannot reach. There is no challenge we cannot meet. There is no victory we cannot have. We won't talk about toilets. The N-word. You know what the N-word is? It's, no, no, no. It's the nuclear word. Toilets and showers. You don't get any water. They put restrictions on them. Now they made a permit. The election was stolen. Was rigged and now our country is being destroyed systematically destroyed i ran twice i won twice and did much better the second time than i did the first getting millions and millions more votes than we did in 2016 and likewise getting more votes than any sitting president in the history of our country by far and now we may just have to do it again. Oh no, not Rick. Oh no. Marjorie Titan Green. Yes! The body of Christ is hungry. Ah, we need brain. Amazing grace, how sweet this is. Saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet this sound. Saved a wretch like me. This was lost, but now I'm found with my Set Cruise trigger warning! The Behalith! The Behalith! Oh, he's doing the dance. He did the double dick suck. Tiny hands, Randa. What the fuck? Let's go. 
that who is that Dan Crenshaw? What the fuck is that? Is that Chris Redfield? From Resident Evil? Ah, hello everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out Emil Lark's Twitch channel and my own. We have a lot of fun interactive features on there. Anyway, I would like to thank the following legend tier patrons. Nikita McGay, DMC, Travis Kokoa Tamashiro, EK, Broccoli Spears. No, that's Rockson, not my room. He, that's the Irony room. Giant, Soma13, Eric Sheldon, Azim, ABCD1234, Kevin Clack, Deuce, ES, Sean Vitka, Jacob Taylor, Two Squad, Uncle Dave, Dude, he's Christopher so A. Butler, Alpha Jericho Young, Sebastian DiNatale, Dennis, Barncat Blues, Adam, Nathan Ross. This is the least talented, uh, least talented Hasanabi head, dude. This is just the normal Hasanabi head uh, talent Kalpa demonstrated X, on the timeline. Nabil Masood, Mr. Bear, Hunter Fernandez, Peter Go. Smith, Matt, Nicholas Carlson, Tony Rizzo, Noms Chomsky, Duchess Yubi, Eagle Sedita, M. Kai Duffy, Joseph <laughs> Stop. Gallery. Genia, author of Raven Dream and Lola Adams. S.E. Okay. Thank you oh. all very much. Now I am going to sleep. God, he's so fucking good. It's crazy. He's so good. <sighs> the Punish Bernie one was so good.